I'm so hungry. Well, you're in the right place. Do you want something sweet or savory? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, no. I don't know. Something savory, just a sandwich. Okay. Ham and cheese or tuna? Um, not tuna. Ham and cheese sounds good. Or maybe something sweet. I don't know. Are you okay? Yes. Uh, well, I'm a little nervous. I have a date. Oh, I see. Anyone I know? I don't think so. His name's Rick. He's from Ireland. I love Ireland. Irish people are so friendly and fun. Well, I like him. I'm sure. So do you want something sweet to pep you up? Oh, no. I haven't got time, Em. I have to meet him in 20 minutes. Oh, God, help. Calm down. You can't go on an empty stomach. Let me make you a quick snack to take away, and you can eat it on your way there. Okay, yes, you're right. So, tell me, what's he like? Handsome? Very. He's tall, average build. He's got dark hair and green eyes. He's very shy and extremely creative. He's an artist. Oh, sounds perfect. He is. Going away? Mm? Oh, I wish. I need a holiday, just to get away from it all. I'm tired of London. I'd like to go on a trip somewhere. To the seaside? Yes. A seaside holiday on a beautiful, deserted beach and sleep under the stars. Or even to the mountains and spend a week camping out in the wild. A trekking holiday? That's not very relaxing. But it's different. You don't have to take the bus and the tube and walk through busy streets. Even a sightseeing holiday sounds wonderful right now. Anything, just not here. Your sandwich is nearly ready. Would you like a quick glass of wine? A glass of wine, just what I need. A toast to your date. And to your holiday. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back. Ready to start working out? Great. Our main topics today are food and holidays, but we've quite a lot to cover, so let's get started. Did you see our episode? Sarah has a date with a handsome Irish boy, Rick, and she's very nervous, isn't she? She doesn't want to be late to meet him, but she's hungry. Do you remember what Sarah says about Rick? That he's shy and creative. Well, he is an artist after all. And to describe him physically, she says he's tall and average build, which means he's neither fat nor thin, and he's got dark hair and green eyes. Emily tells her that she can't go on an empty stomach without eating anything, so she prepares a quick snack for her to take away. But poor Sarah's so nervous that she can't even decide if she wants something sweet or savory. In the end, Emily prepares something savory, a ham and cheese sandwich to take away. While Sarah's dreaming about Rick, Emily is dreaming of a holiday. She wants to go on a trip somewhere because she's bored of London. Difficult to imagine someone being bored of London, but it happens when you live and work in a place for a long time. She wants to get away from it all. Do you ever feel like that? That you need a holiday and want to get away from it all even just for a week? A seaside holiday on a beautiful deserted beach always sounds good when you want to relax. Emily talks about sleeping under the stars. Sounds romantic, doesn't it? To sleep in the open at night and just see the stars all around. She also likes the idea of a trekking holiday in the mountains. Not quite as relaxing because trekking means physical exercise, but spending a week Camping out in the wild sounds exciting, too. 
She's so desperate to get away that she says even a sightseeing holiday sounds wonderful. Sightseeing means visiting all the important monuments and buildings in a city. That's not very relaxing either. Personally, I prefer to relax on a beach for my holidays. Back to Sarah and Emily. They make a toast at the end to wish each other luck. Not the kind you can eat. But when you touch glasses with someone, look them in the eyes and say cheers. So, shall we make a toast? A toast to your English, which I'm sure is getting better. See you soon. Take care. Lucille, how are you? I'm fine. I'm a bit tired, maybe. This week we have a lot of work to do. You're right. I am overworked. And I need a break. Well, let me think about it. Thanks for calling. Bye. I think Lucille's right. I need a break. I should go somewhere. Let me have a look at some maps. Russia. India? China? Japan? Don't know. Australia could be a good travel destination. I can book a flight right now. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Cheap flights to Australia. Flying from London Heathrow and flying to Melbourne. Departure date. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the 30th of December. It's summertime over there. Maybe I can wear my bikini on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Return date. 25 January. Passengers, one adult, no children. Good. Search now. 1,300 pounds? Not so cheap. Let me see if taxes and fees are included. Still too expensive. Can't imagine the cost plus accommodations. What are some other options? Maybe a package tour is more convenient. Lucille may be able to give me some useful addresses. She always has to travel for her job. Lucille? Sorry, it's me again. I am looking for a package tour to Australia. Can you give me some useful addresses? Yes. Okay, I'm ready. www. Globaltours.com www.adventuretours.com <laughs> slash packages www.backpacker tour.com Yes, thank you. Backpacking? I don't particularly like the idea of carrying a heavy weight on my back. Uh, sleeping in a tent? Eating beans for a week? Fun? <laughs> I don't think so. That's not my idea of a holiday. I'd rather stay at home. 
Hmm. Well, thank you anyway, Lucille. Maybe staying at home is a better idea. Bye. Hi, and welcome to our travel and entertainment session. Today, we're going to talk about booking flights, organizing holidays, and how to find good travel options on the internet. Just like most of us, Emily is overworked, which means that she has too much work to do and needs a break. That is a short period of rest. First, you have to decide on your travel destination. Then, just like Emily, you can search the internet for cheap or low-cost flights. When searching the internet, you can either type in what you are looking for or use a specific internet address. When it's a www dot internet address, you say www.globaltours.com or www.adventuretours.com backslash packages, for example. After opening a web page, you must insert the information required. You have to specify where you are flying from, where you want to depart from, and where you are flying to, your destination. You must also indicate your departure and return dates, that is, when you want to leave and when you want to come back. Finally, you have to specify the number of passengers, how many of you want to go, and how many of you are adults and how many are children. When you click on the search button, you see the available flights and what the flight fares are, that is, the money you have to pay for the flight. It is a good idea to check if the taxes and fees are included, that is, extra money that you pay for rights and services. Emily thinks that the flight is too expensive because she knows that she has to find accommodation too. Accommodation means a place to stay, such as a hotel, a hostel, a bed and breakfast. Instead of organizing everything by yourself, you may consider a package tour or holiday tour. This is a holiday or tour where the travel, the accommodation, and sometimes the meals are all included in the price and you pay before you go. One option is a backpacking tour, which means going on a long distance trip, carrying your clothes, food, etc. in a backpack. This is obviously for young and adventurous people, and Emily does not seem particularly interested. Well, to tell you the truth, I do not feel particularly attracted by the idea of carrying a heavy backpack all the time. But my friend says that it is an unforgettable experience. What do you think? Well, our time is over. Keep practicing your English, and I'll meet you in the next training session. See you soon.